Hi, everybody. This is Gatsad for the Sad Truth. Uh, a few days ago, I was contacted by a reporter who wanted me to uh, offer some insights regarding uh, some suicides that had recently taken place uh, within the female porn actresses uh, demographic. Uh, and so I agreed to chat with her and we had maybe, a, I don't know, maybe a 30 or, four minute, 30 or 40 minute chat. And I very much wanted to focus on an article that I had written on my Psychology Today column a few years ago, wherein I uh, simply summarized uh, the work of some researchers who had uh, studied the so-called damaged good hypothesis, which basically argues that uh, women who go into porn must be, quote, damaged goods. For example, they must have higher incidence of sexual abuse in their past and so on uh, to explain why they would engage in uh, this type of occupational choice. And the data, turns out, did not bear that uh, uh, expectation. Uh, now, in the article that eventually came out uh, from the reporter, she, she quoted me uh, saying a few things that I certainly don't remember uh, providing these exact quotes. But in any case, uh, the bottom line is that the, the point of our chat was for me to simply summarize the work of some uh, other researchers who had studied the damaged good hypothesis and then to also uh, make the point to the reporter that you know oftentimes our folk psychology, what we think uh, is true about some phenomenon in the world, turns out to be incorrect. And so in this case, I think most of us would probably guess that the damaged good hypothesis is operative. Uh, but then again, in this case, the folk psychology proved to be wrong. Uh, and then I actually also pointed to the fact that it would be interesting to do a study of uh, women who, after they retire from porn, uh, how, whether they are damaged from their experiences in porn. So that was really the gist of our conversation. And so the first two sort of innocuous quotes that she uh, she you know, offered of mine, I certainly don't remember them saying them, although they're, 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 not, they're nothing controversial, but I certainly, I wish I had taped the conversation because I certainly don't remember using the words that she's uh, attributed to me. But that's not really the point of today's uh, sad truth clip. So I gave you the background of, uh, you know, why I was contacted by this person and what was the gist of our conversation. So today on my public Facebook page, in the visitor post section, I received the following message from a woman who it seems to be truly her. I don't, it's not a stock photo that this person used. Her name is Amy Smith. I'm going to read you verbatim what she wrote. And I'm going to read you this not because some Jew hater will eventually write comments uh, on this page saying, oh, look at the poor Jew whining about his victim status. I, I don't need to whine about my victim status. I... Uh, I come from a very difficult childhood. I own it. And uh, if anything, I'm proud of the fact that I was able to overcome whatever life threw at me. But I share these stories to show what true hate is and how increasingly people are feeling very emboldened in being very public in their hate and regrettably in their Jew hatred. So here's a person who felt sufficiently emboldened to openly without any reservations, send me the following message. Of course, you'd be, quote, studying and furnishing, and furnishing an apologia for the porn industry, you dirty, perverted kike, in exclamation points. Please save us your inanities. The depravity, debasement, and exploitation upon which this corrupt business feeds has been copiously documented. All these women are severely damaged goods. The vast majority abuse drugs and alcohol, and most have also come out severely unhappy, uh, out of severely ha unhappy family backgrounds and abusive relationships. Porn is bad for women and bad for society for all the reasons prostitution is, except that unlike prostitution, the porn culture inflicts severe damage directly upon innocent persons who are not themselves engaged in its morally revolting transactions, which consist quite purely and simply in the millennia-old Jewish tradition adequately lampooned by Shakespeare 
of the barter and sale of Gentile human flesh. This is a person who walks amongst us who feels sufficiently emboldened to apparently use her real identity to write me this simply because I summarized a published study regarding the damaged good hypothesis. Mull that in your brains. Sorry, but the cat is way out of the bag. People are becoming increasingly aware of the depredations the sordid industry is committing upon our formerly clean, family-oriented society, as also the overwhelming control, production, financing, and dissemination of corrosive smut by Ashkenazi Jews. Well, do I get a pass? Because, you know, I'm a brown Jew. I'm from the Middle East. I'm a Mizrahi Jew who at least one Jewish academic has characterized as essentially ethnic rebels, cultural vandals who advance porn by way of seeking to live out a revenge fantasy based on an atavistic hatred driven by a pervading sense of tribal ethnic resentment. Resentment, Yes, Uh, the evil diabolical juice is uh, promulgating the porn industry uh, behind you know, our cabal of Jewish, uh, you know, tower of, of evil, because we are, uh, this is part of our world plan of domination. So please, you Jews really need to stop pretending we despise and oppose you because of some random irrational bias, when it's clearly in capital, your collective behavior that is driving the enmity. We don't want to be controlled by a mafia like life establishment of neurotic sociopathic hostile elites and we don't want our clean societies pornified so next time some madmen listen carefully like hitler comes along and lines jews most of them innocent well at least she grants us that up against dirty ditches to be summarily shot and their corpses bulldozed over don't whine about the horrible injustice of it all. If there is any universal ineluctable truth, it is that history repeats itself and that applies to the Jewish question as much as everything else in the sphere of cosmic existence. Well, she certainly is eloquent. And when it comes and it shall, don't cry about how you didn't see any of it coming or that there has been some terrible misunderstanding. We warned all of you. Now, I wonder if this message, if it were one one one-hundredth as unbelievable as what I just read you, but it was targeting, you know, some other group, whether people would be up at arms, whether Twitter and Facebook and Justin Trudeau would be rushing to find out who this woman is so that she could be punished accordingly. But, you know, run-of-the-mill, genocidal, open Jew hatred, well, you know, ultimately we deserve it. You know, we're Jews, we must have done something wrong. Again, please be decent and don't put me comments. I won't read them anyways. I promise you I won't. But don't put any comments that say, oh, look at the Jew, poor Jew, he's whining. Uh, I'm sharing this with you so that people of good conscience, people with dignity, people who know what human decency is, fight against this stuff. Whether you're targeting this kind of hatred towards transgendered people or black people or Muslim people or Jewish people or atheists or any group that you hate simply because of an identity rather than by judging the individual merits and flaws of their unique individuality, then you are an enemy of human decency and you should be challenged and defeated in the battle of ideas. I wish you all a good day. Cheers.